everybody and welcome back to my channel so on today's video i will be doing a quick face so that it can get you in and out the door and a quick pinch so hopefully you enjoy this video and before we get started you know what you gotta do click that subscribe button and join this family so that you can get some notifications on when i post new videos so without any time getting wasted since this is a quick video let's get into this video i'm gonna take my rimmel stay matte primer i'm gonna take a little dot of it I'm just kind of spread it all over my face just kind of rub that in Now you can do this with a moisturizer or a primer that works for your skin type. I have to use a mattifying primer because I have combo oily skin and ain't nobody trying to be an oil slick all day. So just kind of rub that in and set that. All right, so now I'm going to take my Cody Airspun and tap a little bit of that into here and again I'm just setting my primer because if I don't do this step then my makeup is going to slide all over the place so again I'm just setting this all right so now I'm going to take my Maybelline Matte and Poreless and my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and I'm going to dot the foundation all over my face. I find this is the quickest way to do a fast face. And then I'm just gonna take this and pat it in, covering up any imperfections that I have like I do have some I do have some dark marks on my face so obviously I don't <laughs> want that to show through so I'm just going to conceal all of that Again, just kind of blend it down your neck so that you're not, you know, walking around with a mask on. Make sure you're blending it down. Okay. So I still have some dark areas, so I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. I'm going to take the color Deep, and I'm just going to go in. Color correct those areas that I need to. Take my sponge and pat that in. Now again, I like this particular concealer because it covers pretty much automatically. I don't have to work a lot with it. Now, if you want more of a creamy concealer, by all means do it, but I personally like this one. So now I'm gonna take Tan Sand and I'm gonna go under my eyes. Dot it up. Take my same sponge, blending up and out, and blending on my eye a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to take my trusty Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder, and I have it in my little dish. And I'm going to take my sponge and set my concealer again I 
like doing the doing this step pretty much makes my concealer creaseless like with this particular concealer concealer I don't have that problem unless I'm like stupid sweaty and then I have seen my concealer crease but for the most part on just a normal average day Tarte Shade Tape does not crease on me so that's why it is my holy grail concealer so again set that got it all over me and now I'm going to take Topaz and Sienna from Ben Nye tap that in my tray I always mix put too much put more Topaz than Sienna okay mix that up a little bit take the flat side of my Real Technique sponge and press in and just kind of go to town covering up what I need to cover up going over that part kind of making all of this blend into my skin Saturday I'm not trying to do a lot of crazy stuff I just want to look like a better <laughs> a much more polished version of myself okay and now I'm going to take my Milani make it last and spray that all over my face pat that in with the same sponge okay right. so I'm now about to do my brows again with my trusty products my NYX pencil and my Anastasia dip brows so I'm gonna brush my hairs trace like I normally do all right now I'm going to take my dip brow dip my brush in and go to town the brow doing my hair like strokes upwards to give my brows a more natural look fix this little top part Okie dokie. So now I'm going to take my new blush palette, go in with my BH number three blush brush from the Wild Collection. I'm going to go into this color right here. And just hit the apples on my cheeks. Now, I'm not contouring today because of the fact that I have to go somewhere in a little bit. So, I just want to give my face just a bit of emphasis in certain places. And because this color is matte and it's already kind of dark, it's already going to do a bit of a contour on its own. So, again, just blushing, brushing that out and up. And next, I'm going to take the Spotlight Highlighter Palette, and I'm going to go in with the color Radiance. And I'm just going to take my finger, swirl it in, and just kind of go around. 
kind of blend it up a little bit. Now, if you notice, I'm not doing a crease color because, again, I don't have much time and I'm trying to finish this eye very quickly. So, really, if I need to fix anything, it's just going to get fixed with my finger. So, just kind of brushing that up and out all over my lid space. And then drag that across my <laughs> under eye. Yep. Here's my eye curl a little bit. All right, and then I'm going to take the color Vivid right here, and I'm going to take my index finger and just go on the high points of my cheeks. And do the other side. Ooh. Yeah, like with this particular palette, a little goes a long way. You don't need a ton of product. And then hit that side just a little bit more. Okay, now if I need to make any any edits, just kind of go back in with that sponge. Clean up whatever I need to. Oops. Now let me go with that same color down the bridge of my nose. Blend that out a little bit. All right, done with that. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. So give them two, one right at the base and then one out a little bit further to curl your lashes a little bit. And then same thing with this side. I'm using this mirror because I don't want to like take my eyelashes off. Pull out, do that second pump. All right. And so now I'm going to take my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And I'm going to give these puppies a little bit of life. Just give them a healthy coating. As you see, I twist, tug, and wiggle all in the same motion. Get my inner lashes. Go on with another coat. Now I don't go on my bottom lashes because again that's going to drag it. It's going to make my dark circles look darker and I'm trying to look light and bright. Alright and then my last step will be a little bit of lip gloss by NYX and just put that on my lips. And I'm good to go. Alright guys so hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial on how to do a quick face and a snap. So before you go you know what you gotta do click that subscribe button and join this family so until next time guys deuces